you're back here with Clyde Scott, the owner of Rising S Bunkers. We're here in Murchison, Texas at our factory. And I'm gonna show you about very depth, staircase length and height. You look right here behind me, there's a 1,600 square foot bunker behind me, an NBC bunker. This staircase right now is gonna be, this is one under construction, be 20 foot deep. So there's gonna be an extension that goes off the end of this right here that leads up to the door that comes down to the staircase. When you get down to the bottom level, right before you enter the bunker, you make a 90 degree turn. So let me kind of show you the extension of the staircase that goes on top of that stair. What you see here, we got a flange that we make right here at our factory. This is gonna to attach to what you were just looking at up in the air. And it all attaches to the 1600 square foot bunker. So you'll be a total buried of 30 feet with this bunker right here in place with the extension bolted onto it. Now let me talk to you a little bit about very depths, different climates, different concerns. Not all two bunkers are the same. So make sure when you're making the decisions on pricing, how much money you want to spend, what your concerns are. Some people's concerns are don't think they need to be buried 30 feet deep. Some people do because it gets costly excavating more steel, more steps. I mean, there's a lot that goes involved in digging a hole really deep. So we want to make sure that we uh, meet every single desire that you have when you're purchasing a bunker at Rising S. But bigger ain't always better. Uh, deeper bunker ain't always better. Rocky areas ain't always better. It just really depends on what is fitting your budget and your concerns within a doomsday scenario. Again, Clyde Scott, Rising S Bunkers, thank you for visiting the video today.